All right, Elk Shape YouTube channel. This is Dan the Fitness Man representing ElkShape.com. I'm bringing a video to you YouTubers because this is some of the most overlooked stuff we're about to go over. Shoulders, we take it for granted. If you wanna be an archer, target, or bow hunter like myself, I'm a bow hunter, you have to make your shoulders bulletproof. So in order to make your shoulders bulletproof, you can't just get away with pulling your bow back haphazardly or doing some sort of fitness routine that neglects the small muscle groups, the architecture of your shoulder blades, your scapula, and the network of muscles that surround your spinal column, your shoulder blades, as well as your deltoids. Let's break down my favorite program to bulletproof your shoulders. All right guys, so there's gonna be basically for the first set, we're gonna do all eye level things, then we'll move down to all knee level things. You're always gonna to wanna to hold that end range contraction for at least a couple of seconds and really focus on tension through the musculature. Let's start with the crossover row. This is gonna be a heavier cord, again, eye level. You're gonna start out, cross the bands over each other, and then you wanna depress your shoulders. So you take your scaps and you bring them down. Don't elevate, depress. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull and lead with your elbows, and you're gonna keep your elbows high. You're gonna hold the end range for two seconds and let out, and you're gonna do that for eight repetitions this is the crossover row. All right guys, now that we got the crossover row out of the way, let's go to a lighter band. We're gonna do the reverse fly. Again, nice athletic position. Don't forget about drawing your belly button in, keeping your abs or core tight. Depress the shoulders. Make sure those scaps are pinned down. And then you're gonna have your elbows extended. Pull those shoulder blades towards the spine. Keep your arms straight and hold that end range for two full seconds and lower back down. Repeat for eight reps. All right, let's move on to the pull down. So we're gonna go back to a heavier band. Again, you're gonna start in a pretty athletic position. Arms are straight out in front. You're gonna go ahead and depress your shoulder blades down. And then with your lats, you're gonna pull those bands along your sides, clearing the hips. You're gonna retract, pull everything towards the spine, hold for two seconds and let out. Repeat for eight reps. All right, now we're gonna move the bands down to knee level. So just a quick little adjustment, I'll let you do that, and we'll go ahead and get started. This first one is the crossover 90-90. You wanna use a light weight or a light band. So now the band's coming up from your knees, your arms are straight, you're gonna pull or those shoulder blades down and back. So we call that depressed shoulders. You're gonna lead with your elbows and then externally rotate, hold for two seconds, and then back down. Good time to point out that if you feel any pain, go lighter. Any pain should make you stop and readjust your technique or your poundage. Again, depress, externally rotate, hold for two seconds, eight reps. This is the crossover 90-90 lightweight. Moving on, crossover scaption. Again, lightweight, depress the shoulders. You're now facing away from the anchored bands. You're going to raise at a 45 degree forward and you're going to hold right at about head height maybe two seconds and down. Go ahead and repeat for eight reps. Again, depress shoulders, raise 45 degrees forward, hold that head height and down. Two more guys, hang in there. This is the crossover incline plus. This is the heavier band. Again, you're facing away from the attachments of the anchor. This is gonna be a good chest stretch. Make sure your posture is strong, midline tight. And with your scaps pinned back, you're gonna go ahead and press out and up. Make sure you protract, retract three different times and come back down to the chest stretch. Again, starting position, you're going to press out and up. You're going to protract and retract three different reps and down. That's two reps, six more to go. All right, we're gonna finish with the crossover victory. This is a light weight, again, coming from the knee. You're now facing your bands. Depress the shoulder, elbows extended, and raise up to that victory pose. I wanna ensure you have zero pain. Hold for two seconds at your end range. Keep your ribs down. Fire everything in your body from the neck down. Stay rigid for two seconds and back out. Let's do another. Depress shoulders. Elbows extend, elevate upwards, hold two seconds, and back out. That's two, six more to go. Once you're done, you have finished the crossover symmetry activation series. You guys, 
just starting here is gonna be huge. I'm gonna make another video, not only on the Activation Plus series, but the Recovery series. Then we can even go into the Strength series, a Mobility series. This is endless. It's time to do your due diligence. I hope you're watching this video and you haven't experienced shoulder pain and we keep it that way. But if you're in the boat of, hey, I have shoulder surgery or I have shoulder pain and I'm worried about my archery career, try this out. I think it's gonna be amazing. I wouldn't waste your time. This is gonna be the most important videos I've ever made for you archers when it comes to fitness, archery, bow hunting. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.